Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth, the team at Begreeds, and I have a perfect summer DIY project for you. This one is inspired by the Lifeboat Click by Kathy Parks. The Lifeboat Click is all about a girl named Denver Reynolds, who finally works up the courage to go to the cool kids party, and then a tsunami hits. Obviously, totally normal thing to happen in the middle of a party. So now she's stranded on a roof, floating away in the middle of the ocean, with this group of cool kids, plus her ex-bestie. So not awkward at all, am I right? So in order to protect your book against a tsunami that might hit, we are making a vinyl waterproof book cover. Perfect for the beach. So you really only need two things for today's project. That's probably a good thing because if you're stranded on a roof, you're not gonna have a lot of things. But make sure that wherever you are, that you have some plastic clear vinyl. So there are a lot of different beach cover-ups for books, but we want a clear one because we wanna make sure that we can still show off our beautiful cover so people at the beach or the pool know what you're reading because it's really good. The only other thing you need, a pair of scissors. Your first step is to lay out your vinyl flat. My piece is about a yard. You're not gonna need that much, but just in case you have any little mess ups and wanna recut, you have some extra. So once your vinyl is laying out flat, you're gonna take your book, open it up, and lay it on top of the vinyl. What you wanna make sure is that you have about two inches of vinyl on top of the book, and then two inches of vinyl on the bottom of the book, and then about three inches on each side. So that's about how much you're gonna be cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the side. So I have my book out here. I know that I'm gonna be cutting, I wanna leave about three inches. It's about that much. Marking this right here. Bringing this down, perfect. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, again, leaving three inches. I'm just gonna loosely, I'm just gonna roughly measure this. I'm down. One of the great things about vinyl is that it is so easy to cut and really easy to work with. This is basically like cutting out a brown paper bag to cover your textbooks at school. But of course, we don't wanna think about school because it's summertime, so now we're just gonna do it with vinyl for our books. So fun and so easy. The only challenging part about working with the vinyl is that it's a little bit hard to make the folds, but I'm gonna walk you through it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those two inches of vinyl and I'm gonna fold it up to the top of my book and just start folding that over like this. I'm gonna very carefully slide out the book, making sure that I keep where that fold is. And I'm gonna put that to the side now. And I'm gonna just start pressing down as hard as I can along that fold. Now at this stage, if you want to use some pins to mark your place, you can. It'll probably stay on its own, but if you do have some extra pins laying around from let's say a sewing kit, you can use them to mark your spot. Now I'm gonna bring my book back in, and I'm going to line my book up to the top of that fold that I just made. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom where I fold the final up to the bottom of the book, start making the folds, and then carefully take the book away and press down very, very hard along that line all the way across. Okay, once I have my top and my bottom fold, I'm gonna bring the book back in and place it on top. There we go, looks great. Now we're gonna work on the sides. So again, just like you would a brown paper bag, I'm gonna open up my book again and I'm gonna take the ends and start folding them over. And so when you made those folds, you basically made two little pockets. That's where you're gonna slide your book in. So I'm gonna start in the top corner, come down to the bottom corner, and I'm gonna start sliding the vinyl right on top of the book jacket that's already there. See? Perfect. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. to slide it right on top of that. And you gotta kind of shimmy it on, on this side. It gets a little bit harder. But why don't we book shimmy while we shimmy our vinyl on? Nothing like a book shimmy, woohoo. Okay, so now you can just kind of move it around a little bit to make sure that it fits. And if you wanna just work with your folds a little bit more so it stays in place, now's a great time to do that. Totally optional, but something that you can do if you want is to use some double-sided tape on the vinyl if you wanna make it extra secure, but usually the vinyl will keep the fold on its own. So I'm gonna fold that over. 
So now that you have your waterproof book cover on your Lifeboat Click book, you are ready to go to the pool or the beach. Obviously, the pages, unfortunately, are not waterproof, although that would be super cool. But hey, if somebody's splashing you or you get some sunscreen on you, just you can ignore all of that and get in your own little world. Just be aware of the really big waves because unfortunately, it probably won't protect you against those. If you have any ideas for future DIY projects, just leave your ideas in the comments below. Bye everyone, happy summer.